Tonight, a small mite is causing big problems for a Southside daycare center. Two dozen people have fallen victim to a scabies outbreak. CBS 2's Suzanne Lemignot is live in the back of the yard neighborhood with details for us. Suzanne. Well, Rob, 150 children attend this daycare center right here behind me. They range in age from infants all the way to five years old. The staff here says they are being vigilant, trying to stop this outbreak. Scabies is caused by the tiny mite you see right here. They burrow into the skin and lay eggs, causing itchy bumps and blisters. He got a little bit. Um, basically, it's just a cream that you put head to toe. Selena Diaz's son is one of 14 children that had to be treated for scabies while attending daycare at the Chicago Commons Paolo Frieri Family Center here in the back of the yards neighborhood. Well, they're trying to keep it together and keep everything clean. You know, they've been working with the parents, letting them know what's going on. On May 18th, the center sent this letter to parents. At that time, two to three children had been exposed to scabies. From May 18th to now, you've had 14 children come down with scabies and 10 adults. Yes, that's the problem with scabies is that it's one of those diseases that incubates for about 10 to 12 days, so it's very hard to detect. So about 10 days later is when we had our second outbreak of children and adults that were exposed to scabies. The facility has been cleaned twice by a cleaning crew. We have taken all of the um, like towels and laundry and they are in bags being sent away. Um, and we are working with our staff as well as our parents to ensure that this continuous ongoing education is going on. And that message, wash your hands in hot water and the bedding at home in hot water too. Meantime, the, the Chicago Department of Public Health is telling us that they are working with the center to make sure that the students here and the staff receive the proper treatment that they need before they return to the daycare center. We're live in the back of the Yards neighborhood. Suzanne Lemonio, CBS 2 News. Rob, Erica. All right, Suzanne, thank you.